Welcome in to this edition of Great City Attractions. Today we visit an Italian gem with an amazing history. These are the great tourist attractions of Naples. Pompeii, one of the most historically important sites in the world. What you see here today is the result of the catastrophic events of 79 AD, a volcanic eruption that decimated the area covering the land with ash and pumice. Etruscans and Greeks enjoyed control of the city before Roman expansion brought about a new age for the city, with Marcus Agrippa overseeing expansions in the first century. Tours of this vast and wondrous site take in bakeries, fountains, houses of the rich and working classes, along with temples, bath complexes and the main forum of Pompeii. Excavations continue to this day, with further stately homes and intricate mosaics being uncovered. Mount Vesuvius, Vesuvio. If you want to see the culprit that covered Pompeii, then all you have to do is look up. A very active volcano, Vesuvius rises to some 1200 metres, with its most prominent cone being made during the 79 AD eruption. Major eruptions have taken place throughout the centuries, with an eruption in the 1630s killing over 3000 people. While it's hard to believe a cable car was once placed on the mountain to offer rides to the top, it was destroyed in an eruption of 1944. These days tours to the crater still take place, with the area being declared a national park in the 1990s. Positano, one of the best day trips away from Naples itself. There's a potential postcard picture at every blink of the eye in Positano. Once the home to early man, Modern man has tamed the landscape here for himself. The steep hills lie covered in colourful houses, bars and restaurants. Highlights of the town include its wonderful beaches, alongside notable churches. Not surprisingly, the setting has been included in many films, notably Under the Tuscan Sun in 2003. Ercolano, another victim of the eruption of 79 AD. The ancient site of Herculaneum is often overlooked by tourists. The site's level of preservation is amazing to view. Highlights of the site include the Villa of the Papiri, where ancient scrolls and writings were found, the boathouses that held the bodies of many of the victims, and the intricate mosaics found in the bath complexes. Sant'Elmo, a medieval fortress, originally started in the 13th century and enlarged over the next three centuries. This castle became a strong point of a wider defensive structure that aimed at securing influence over Greater Naples. The castle has been used as a prison for much of the last 500 years. The castle now serves as a museum and exhibition space. We'd love your support. Catch all the content by subscribing to the channel. Piazza del Plebiscito, where Naples joined Italy in unified strength. The most striking feature of this space is the Basilica of San Francisco de Paola, its colonnaded wings making a momentous spectacle of themselves. The square was used as a public parking lot during the 1960s, but was restored to a pedestrian affair in the 1990s. Sporadically used for concerts, Elton John and Bruce Springsteen have both staged concerts here. Casa del Ovo, translated to Egg Castle, its name derived from a legend regarding the poet Virgil. This is the site of the oldest castle in Naples, with fortified positions here dating back to the 5th century. Italian war damage took toll on the castle during the 1500s, with restoration work of the late 1900s bringing the castle back to its functioning state. Capri, another of the great day trips to be made from Naples. If you want to know how the Romans lived on holiday, then Capri will give you some idea. Augustus built temples and villas on the island, while Commodus famously sent his sister into exile on the rocks here. Troops of Napoleon seized the island in the early 1800s, only to be ousted after the Emperor's defeat at Waterloo. Famous novelists and socialites have long used the island as a home. Galleria Umberto I, a great place to visit in Naples. A public shop and gallery that will leave you in awe with its architecture. Named after the King of Italy, the main draw card here is the Glass Dome, which sits some 180 feet skywards. The gallery remains a place for business, 
while also providing a number of shops and cafes. Santa Chiara Monastery, a religious site with plenty to offer tourists. Santa Chiara houses tombs of a number of kings, notably Francis II of Naples. Extensively damaged by Allied bombing in World War II, the restored Gothic interior is known for its historic frescoes. Museums of Naples A plethora of amazing museums await those visiting Naples. Some of those you'll want to take in include the Royal Palace of Capodimonte and the Catacombs of Naples. An interesting look into the Christian burial and worship sites that reside under the streets of the city. The National Archaeological Museum stores much of the historical story from the famed ancient sites around Naples. That concludes this edition of Great City Attractions. Subscribe to the channel. What's your favourite place to visit in Naples? Comment below.